One of the best features of ClearTouch's Snowflake Multi-Teach software is the ability to record everything you're doing on the screen right from within the software. To set up the recording, simply launch into your Snowflake software. Uh, and then from any app that you have open, you can easily get to the recording feature uh, through the corner menu. So you'll notice at each of the bottom side uh, corners there, you're going to see the little snowflake icon. Uh, so if I select on one of those, uh, about midway up, you're going to see where it says start recording. So if I select that, that's going to go ahead and give me my recording countdown there in the middle of the screen. Uh, and then we're recording everything now on the screen. So as we go through our lesson here, uh, whether it's playing YouTube videos that I have embedded right into my Canvas lesson, uh, or flipping pages, starting new notes here, uh, as we go along, it's going to start to record. Uh, it's also going to record everything even if we're using the zones feature of Snowflake. So if I hop out of the full screen mode here, and now I've got my zones open, uh, maybe an activity I created in lessons, another web browser open, uh, I can start to record everything that we're doing on the screen very easily. If I want to stop the recording, I can do that in two ways. I can either go back to the corner menu of any application that's running, uh, and there's going to be a stop recording button here at the top. Or if you'll notice in the top right hand corner, I actually do have a recording button there. Uh, it's in the very top right hand corner. So if I just go ahead and select that, it's going to stop the recording for me. It also is going to tell me the file path uh, where that recording was saved. So if I want to go and retrieve that recording once we're done uh, with our session, I'm just going to minimize Snowflake here. I can hop back out to my computer, whether you're using the built-in PC or if you just have your laptop connected as well, it should be about the same. I'm just going to hop into the File Explorer, uh, and then from here, it's naturally going to save it to the Documents folder. So if I click on Documents here, uh, you're also going to find a folder labeled Snowflake Multi-Teach. So if I go into Snowflake Multi-Teach, you're also going to see a folder inside of there called Recordings. And once I go into there, you're going to see several recordings that I've done and the most recent one there on the far right. Another great way to access the videos that you've just recorded is actually inside of Canvas in Snowflake. So if I hop right back into Snowflake here, uh, like I said, I'm in the Canvas application, I can access all those same videos from the media browser right inside of Canvas. So this is going to show me all the files that are on that built-in PC across over here to the left. Uh, but as you can see, they've actually made that recordings folder available right there on the main screen. So now once I find a video that I want, I'm just going to simply select it and it goes right into my Canvas lesson. So that's probably the easiest way to get a hold of that content that we've just made. Uh, and then all I have to do is simply select it and it's go ahead and going to go ahead and start to play that content. So um, another pro tip when we're recording inside of Snowflake, you may want to bring in something like a webcam or a document camera uh, to have some more visual aspects on the screen. So you can do that by simply hooking up uh, any USB camera right into the built-in PC or even just a laptop if you're using the laptop. Uh, and then I can access that camera from within Canvas. So if I go down here to kind of the extended toolbar, uh, what I'm going to be able to see is the camera button here. Uh, and now, as you can see, I've got that camera uh, right there on the screen. So I can position this wherever I'd like. So we can put it up there in the corner. Uh, and then again, just start that same recording. So from the corner menu, hit Start Recording. Uh, and now it's not only going to be capturing everything we're doing on the screen, but also that camera and audio uh, from a webcam as well. So as we take our notes, everything is going to start to be recorded on the screen. So those are just a couple of the quick ways that you can record all of your content from within Snowflake on the ClearTouch Interactive panel. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up below and go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you want more in-depth training, hop over to ClearTouch Academy. We've got the link in the description below. You'll find lots of tutorials and in-depth looks at all of our software here at ClearTouch Interactive.